laying back so much. I love laying back. It's annoying. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is the crack of dawn. It's always the crack of dawn. If you live on a farm, it's the crack of dawn. But I guess if you go to school or you go to work, it's also the crack of dawn. So we are headed out. Sophie's going to camp today. So I'm driving her to camp. But first, we're going to go get coffee. I didn't even wake Gabby up. So hopefully, she's okay with I that. I took Molly from her. You took Molly from her? Mm -hmm. This is the state of my purse. You all are thinking like, why do you have tape in your purse? And I've reached down, I have candy in my purse. I have my rosary in my purse. Okay, give me some of those for your cute. All right, take some. I have two rosaries in my purse. Just in case you know I ever need to just stop and pray. And then I have ugh, nail clippers in my purse. I have everything but my keys. Finally, my keys. I also have no idea how I'm getting out of here. I hate when people park my car in spots that I don't Drive even know right how there. to get out. Just turn. Yeah. Hold this dog. Anyways, Be welcome. Purse, puppy. Welcome to today. Ellie. Come on, man. <laughs> Ellie just keeps Try. climbing on Sophie. Welcome to today. And uh, today is just me and Sophie, me and Gabby. Mm. Camp only goes till noon each day. I'm so. not Gabby. <laughs> I know, so it's only going to be me and Gabby. I'm excited. I oh. never get to just spend time by myself with Gabby. Yeah, I'm sitting too far. Gabby's back. probably like, oh no, I have to like man up and <laughs> hang out with her. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. You know what's been super cool? Watching not Ellie swimming in the water trough today because she did that. But watching the duck and goose acclimatize themselves to the farm, it's been super interesting. They love Chino and Willow because Chino and Willow are the most sane animals that they get to choose between. They could go anywhere they want on the whole farm, but they stay with Willow and Chino. It's actually been so fascinating just watching them, like just seeing how they react. But look at how pretty they are. Like, look at that duck. She is so pretty. She glows in the sun. So I kept telling Sam I want a bench here. This is not the kind of bench. I just want a flat bench with no back, just like the bottom there. And I want it kind of lower and more sturdy. Um, but everything I want, I just look around the property for five seconds and I find it. There's a bench that I could use here and actually I've been sitting on it. It just feels natural to have a bench here. But one thing that's definitely I find hard is managing everybody on the farm. So the duck and the goose have water right over there but they're babies still. So they don't feel comfortable being away from their flock or their herd or whatever. And they've decided that, that Chino and Willow are their herd. So they won't go over there. So they'll wander over here a little tiny bit where there's grass and they'll eat that grass, but they mostly stay in the, in this dirt paddock. So I'm having to like go around and make sure that they always have water where they want it. I don't want to put a pool in the horse paddock because I could just see our horses slicing their leg on it. Um, but maybe I can move the pool up to just on the other side of this. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing is put their pool over on the other side of this fence and see if they feel comfortable. But it's hard managing everyone. And the duck and the goose are actually the hardest ones on the property to manage. A little help from a friend. I did this. I made it so much better. I don't think that's very useful. <laughs> but you know what? It was fun making it. <laughs> but anyways, it looks so much better. Holy heck, I love it. I love it. So I still need to fix this. I think I might switch this up all together, but I love it. I'll show you what it looks like to sit here. It's so cozy. And even though that blind looks awful, it affords you some privacy. So you just feel like, cozy in here and then I have this chair over here just as like an extra spot I and I am obsessed I'm gonna get some lights and I'm gonna hang them up there's lights in that little lantern there but I'm gonna get actually some lights and hang them up probably like in the front there and I have a place to sit and I'm gonna clean up the garden so that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon I have to go pick up Sophie but let me know in the comments below if you like this setup better uh, would you hang up curtains which are really aesthetically pleasing, or would you try and master the blinds and put blinds there and blinds there so it's more closed in and private? I'm so sorry that this whole video is farmhouse renovations 
or makeovers because I really want to just kind of get this stuff done. Um, so I've been doing it today. Plus it's dark and dreary outside. It's like nothing's happening. Uh, so I added a couple more things. I don't know about the thing in the middle. But I added some chairs. So this is like a little sitting area. I need to get a carpet. And then I added a little stool over here. Which I'm going to paint. But I still love it. I'm going to show you from over here. I love it. Like I'm absolutely obsessed. I sat out here all day. So that's what it looks like from this end. Obviously that end needs more. Like needs a carpet and stuff. Anyway we're going to shoot a Q&A out here today are you ready yeah how was camp good we're actually going to shoot a Q&A out here and this is what it looks like when you're too lazy to go to the barn and get the tripod <laughs> we're just waiting for Gabby so I showed you guys that the girls got their hair cut and Sophie how are you liking your hair I like it why do you like it because it doesn't knot it doesn't knot honestly every time I'm like trying to get no sevens I know I don't understand it either 15s and 30s I know so I'm trying to get the garden, front garden done, and then Sam, no, we tried to shoot a video, a Q&A video, then Sam calls me, can you go pick up my truck? So then, I'm trying to get the front garden done, Gabby blows a fuse, and we don't know how to work it because it's not labeled correctly. Switch. You want to flip? Flip all them off and back off. No, I don't think that's a good idea, you'll... Can we wait for Dad to come home? No, I need the TV. Oh, I think you did it. I don't know if that worked, but I turned it. Woo, she did oh it. God. Yay. <laughs> you did it. it. Air's on. Gabby did it. You're so good. I'm going to show you my garden that I've been working on, but I found all these hens and chicks. And when I was weeding, they're so overgrown that they just fell right out of the garden. Like, look at how gorgeous they are. I'm going to plant these in a planter and make them into a little centerpiece. I love hens and chicks so much. They're a succulent and they obviously do well here. I'll show you. I'm trying to do the garden and when we moved in, it was completely overgrown. Looked all like that, this whole thing. So I'm trying to dig it all out. But now Sophie wants to play with Willow. So I like to watch her when she's with the, with the horses. So I'm gonna go do that. Visit my horse for a few minutes. But these are the hens and chicks. I don't know if you can see, they're like very overgrown. They're like growing everywhere, all in the lawn and everything. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming, Sophie. But anyway, I love these. These are like my favorite. But see, if I pull like on these weeds, then they just pop out. So I have to be careful. But look at how gorgeous they are. Anyway, that is the plan. I really want to get this done. And then this entire garden is completely overrun and it just keeps going and going and going and it goes around all the sides too so that's like how pretty my area looks so I want to make the garden look pretty there's some pretty cone flowers there there's this too it's all overgrown grass in the garden so I shot a video on my phone the other day of Sophie playing with Willow this is what we do a lot when we're not videoing, we like spend a, like Gabby's out here all the time with Gracie. But she's honestly the wonder pony. So the other day when I shot Sophie doing this, oh, she missed it. When I shot I Sophie, from the jump. you it was your fault. Yeah. Um, this is like the first time she's ever really worked out on the grass with Willow, or at least the first time in a really long time. She's used to being inside or being in the dirt. And we just moved her here and we're like, hey, let's do this on the grass. Wow. And she said, yeah, okay, no problem. Like, so if we can drag this pony out of the field and do anything with her, like, she's just happy to do anything all the time. She is amazing. She's so much fun. Like, I believe all little girls should have a miniature pony or a pony to play with. I wish that my kids had had little ponies to play with when they were growing up. I have a friend who has a little girl and she has a pony that she plays with. And honestly, you learn so much. Oh, so I'm tired. she's tired. Another thing that Sophie's really good about is that she only she does, like refusing jumps. yeah. That means she's tired. So if she starts refusing, it means she's tired. So then she stops. Amazing. I love you with her. She only follows me on grass. If 
Um, we're going to a jump. Oh, hello, ponies. Grab honey salt her. Which one is honeys? So my camera goes off all the time. And every time I look at it, it's Penny. She comes in, she stands here, calls to Chino, and then stands here and looks at him. So it's like, guys, it's too hot. Up. Chino's having a really good day. And I love the bench here, but I almost don't know if I want to put it Hi, on the front porch instead and put a bunch of pillows on it Storm's instead of the chairs that I have there. But I love their camera system so much. He's sweaty. Yeah, because he runs. Okay. Don't you run me over. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do you do that? They're all coming. Oh, here she comes. Here's my girl. She's like, there's a. How, where's her fly mask? I don't know. Did you put them on this morning? I don't, I don't even know where her fly mask is. Oh my goodness. No wonder you'd have flies. <laughs> Come here. Wait for me, she says. Straight to me. Baby. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find these guys' fly masks. Yeah, there she goes. All right, I'll meet you over there. See, that's where she goes. Look how shiny she is. They're both, they're all, even Chino, who is like not doing awesome, is so shiny. We are literally running out of fly masks, mister. Go back out there and bring your fly masks in. So I got the fly masks on all these horses. Penny got hers on, she was good, he was not. What are you doing? But look at the shiny, holy moly. And look at the shiny on her. It is shiny. Does she have a cut on her butt? She has like a little line right there. It looks okay though. You know how it's good days and bad days? Like you'll have two good days in a row and I'll be like, oh my gosh, we're on the mend. And then all of a sudden he'll just have the worst day and I, it's awful. We have the vet coming back in just a couple of weeks after he finishes his drugs. When the vet comes back, we're gonna do x-rays and we're gonna retest the Lyme. And I suspect the Lyme will be better, but his symptoms just don't, he just doesn't seem to be getting better the way that I thought he would. <laughs> Give her a treat. Say down, down, tell her down. Do you guys hear that weird sound? It's Ellie, she wants in here. Oh, look how cute, <laughs> that's so cute. <laughs> Down, down, good girl. Down, good girl. Good girl. So he's calling her to come to her. Whoa, that was perfect. It's because I was saying tree, tree. Spin. You guys, last time I'm gonna show you. But I love a porch. Like I miss, we used to have, we've had a few houses with nice porches, two houses actually. I miss a porch. So this is it at night. <laughs> There's a light over there, but Sam has to um, change the light bulb. So this is what it looks like all lit up. I'm going to paint this little table here and I got a navy blanket. I was going to get white but the cushions are white so I didn't get it. I got navy. It's fuzzy and soft and that's the little light. I got a Ellie's loving it. <laughs> um, oh, I got a little planter. I don't it looks dumb there. I don't know how I'm going to fix that but I have a friend and she's good at stuff like that so I'm sure I'll figure it out but yeah I love it I love it at night Sam hasn't seen it yet I can't wait for him to see it so that's why I have everything all set up but there's no bugs out tonight and I could literally grab that blanket and just sit out here 
And even though that is ugly, Sam said he'll help me fix it because he didn't do it very good. Um, but I love the privacy it gives me. And I might even put one here too because even though I can't see the goats and I like watching the goats, I can kind of see through there. But the privacy and how cozy it feels is so nice. See, Ellie approved. What do you think? Come sit down. This is my favorite spot because I this <laughs> this is my favorite spot because I can put my feet out like a lounge chair. Yeah, it's not bad. And I have a little. It's not bad. Look, I have a little light here. I'm with. Light I had to change the light bulb, probably. Yeah, change the light bulb. Well, I'll get Gabby to do it because she's not scared of heights. Yeah, I am terrified party. of heights. <laughs> you like it though? Yeah, it's nice. It's, I like to see though. I uh, in the daytime you can actually see through here but I like to not see I like privacy it feels cozy There's nobody watching you I don't care I like okay. privacy don't you know that you're beautiful